So this episode was actually recorded exclusively for my patrons over at Patreon, but they've been nice enough to let me share this with you because I think that this is an important subject and I did want to share this video with everybody. So a huge shout out to everybody who is a patron of mine. This is one of the exclusive episodes and this is sort of the format. So if you want to be a patron, just visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash the love chat. Hope you enjoy this episode. Hello and welcome to another exclusive Patreon podcast. Today, I want to talk about why we are all here. So, let me ask you this. Why are you here? What are you here to accomplish? Why did you come be a patron? Why do you listen to my channel? What is your goal? Why do you listen to channels like mine? Is the goal to win your ex back? Is that still it? Is it really that narrow-minded and straightforward? Or is it something bigger? Is it really, truly winning yourself back? Getting out of this idea that another human, not even just your ex, another person, must exist to make you happy. You're missing a piece and another person is that piece. But you know that's a lie, right? It's nice to have someone else there, but it's not necessary. And when we get into this thinking that in order to be happy, we need another person, it's dangerous because it reinforces the idea that we're missing something, that part of us is not here and it's in another person, that we are 99 out of 100 puzzle pieces and then the person that's not in our life is that last piece. Listen, love is great. Love is necessary in a lot of ways. It is certainly necessary to have a happy and healthy family. It's not necessary, but is usually helpful to bear children. And it's a part of life. And I would never claim that we do not thrive on happy and healthy partnerships and marriages, etc. But we don't need it to survive. And so I want you to think, why are you here? And what have you learned? And what have you become because of these videos? But more because what you've done with this new motivation or whatever it is that you've gained from being here. What brought this on, this whole topic, is that so many people come and listen to my videos and they ask the same questions over and over again. And I'm happy to answer them because I realize, you know, that's that's where they're at emotionally. And I've certainly been there. We've all been there. And yeah, there's an amount of time where they're just going to be hung up on their ex no matter what I tell them or no matter what they do. Because this key ingredient here is time. And yet... The ultimate irony is that time is the exact thing that will cure missing an ex, wanting an ex back. And I'm looking for a greater answer here. Not just, did you win your ex back? Some people do, some people don't. It's a numbers game. And I hate to make it that, but that's what it is. Now, certainly through effort and through self-love, self-improvement, no contact, time and space, etc. Yeah, we can make it more or less likely, certainly. Leaving your ex alone, going into no contact, focusing on you, that will improve the chances that they reach out. Badgering them, begging and pleading, that, that greatly diminishes the chance that they reach out. But hopefully, through our time together, you've changed your mission. It hasn't just been win them back. Look for the secret. One of these coaches must know it, right? One of these counselors that I talk to. One of my ex's good friends. They, there must, they must know that key phrase I need to do, or that thing I need to do to get my ex back, right? But it's such an important topic to realize that at the end of the day, the cards are going to fall where they're going to fall. Your ex is either going to come back or they're not going to come back. Certainly, like we said earlier, you have an impact on this, but hopefully you've gained a greater insight from this, which is I'm doing love all wrong. The way I've focused on this situation and the questions that I'm asking at these live streams and maybe I just don't understand the correct way to do this because it's always centered on the other person you ever think about that all the books all the media it's always centered on what can I offer that person so that they'll give me love rather than what can I offer myself so that I will give me love when we love ourselves other people love us now, this doesn't mean stop doing nice things for your partner. This doesn't mean don't buy them gifts, don't focus on them, don't allow them to be the center of attention from time to time. We're not saying that. But we're saying that when that becomes the most important thing in your life, life rewards you 
with heartache. And yet when you overcome struggle for yourself, life rewards you with happiness. The sense of feeling fulfilled, smiling, and actually feeling the happiness behind that smile. What a concept. Overcome yourself and you are happy. Just some food for thought. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.